Hello everyone, welcome to the world of recipes. This is Vaishali and today I will be showing you how to make simple mutton curry. In this recipe we are using very less spices but the taste will be delicious. So quickly see the ingredients. Meat or mutton 500 grams. One small onion finely chopped and one tablespoon ginger garlic paste. For making curry we are going to use Two big onions roughly chopped, 8 to 10 cloves of garlic, freshly grated coconut about 3 tablespoon, coriander seeds about 1.5 tablespoon, red chili powder 1 tablespoon, turmeric powder 3 teaspoon, garam masala or meat masala about 3 fourths tablespoon, salt according to taste, oil about 6 tablespoons some coriander leaves for garnishing we have washed this mutton pieces two three times with normal water now they are nice and clean as this mutton pieces takes time to cook we are going to pressure cook it before making curry so quickly start with the recipe now in the pressure cooker first i will add oil i will add about two tablespoon of oil here and as the oil is heating add this finely chopped onions in this now these onions are little bit translucent now add this ginger garlic paste and saute this ginger garlic paste for about a minute now after a minute I am going to add this turmeric powder and I'll add some salt about half tablespoon of salt I will add here and this mutton pieces or meat pieces Mix this mutton pieces nicely with the spices. Now add about 1 cup of water here. Now close the lid and let this meat pressure cook for about 5 whistles. Till the time our meat is getting cooked, let's start making masala for our curry. For this, take one frying pan, add about 1 tablespoon of oil here. Add, add these onions. Roast this onions till it gets dark brown in color. And while making this meat masala, it is very important for all the raw ingredients to get cooked properly. Then only you can get nice taste of this meat. As you can see, these onions are almost brown now. I'll add this coriander on one side and roast it lightly. Roast this coriander, coriander seeds till you get that aroma of coriander seeds and it become light brown in color. You can slowly mix this coriander seeds with this onion. I can smell the aroma of coriander seeds here. Add this freshly grated coconut and again roast it nicely till it gets brown. As you can see, all these spices are dark brown in color now. Now, finally, we'll add this garlic cloves here. 
We have to roast this garlic cloves with its spices for about one minute. Now this masalas are roasted. Switch off the gas and let it cool down completely. Then with the help of some water, you have to grind it into a fine paste. By the time our cooker is also ready, the meat is cooked. Let the cooker cool down completely and then we'll open it. Now this masala is cooled down completely. Now transfer it into the dripping jar. Add some water, about one fourth cup, and grind it to the fine paste. Our mutton is ready now, and the masala is also ground. So not, let's start making curry now. Put the remaining oil in the pan or a wok. And as the oil is hot, put this roasted and ground masala in this. As this masala is roasted, we don't need to cook it more. Just one or two minutes in oil. That will be enough. Now to this masala, add the spices, this red chilli powder, this meat masala and salt. We have already put salt in meat, so we are putting salt according to this masala. Now let this dry spices get roasted for about 1 minute. After one minute, let's add this meat pieces. Does it matter if a little bit of water comes? As all these meat pieces are cooked properly, we don't need to cook it further. So just uh, roast it with the masala for one, one minute. After one minute, we are going to add this mutton stock to this to make it a gravy. Just add enough water, how much you want to make a gravy as the consistency you want. I will need this much water. Gravy is little thicker here. I'll wash this chutney jar and I'll add this water also. Now this is the consistency what we need for the gravy. Now let these mutton pieces cook with this gravy for about 5 minutes. After simmering for 5 minutes, this mutton curry is ready now. Now let's serve it.
this mutton curry is ready garnish it with some coriander serve it hot with rice chapati or any kind of parathas isn't it the simple recipe for mutton curry try it yourself and let me know about your reviews thanks for watching this recipe for more recipes keep on watching world of recipes thank you